Hi guys, Drew here, back with another episode of Drew Talks Caps, and in today's video, I will be discussing one game from the Senior Caps and one game from the Junior Caps. Both of these teams only played one game this weekend, so we got evenly uh, matched an out amount of things to talk about, basically. So I'll get started with the Senior Caps. It seems like I've been starting my videos with the Senior Caps, so I think I'll be doing that for the rest of the year. If, if there's anybody that, that doesn't like that, just let me know, and maybe I'll change it, I'm not sure. But uh, so I'll start off with the senior caps and in the game last night they lose 5-3 to the CBS Blues and in this game the goals that are scored is Tanner Humber Dredge, Mark Rumsey and Mike Cole. It was a pretty solid game to be honest with you. Um, wasn't bad at all. Um, the one problem was the, the two, um, you obviously know that Eminem Bish line, that top line with Bishop, McKim and McGraw. Two of those players weren't in the lineup for the majority of the game. McKim was either a healthy scratch, he was injured, or he just wasn't able to play because of like his worker maybe or something like that. Um, and then Bishop had a fight. Um, which has an absolute uh, really good fight. Uh, I didn't know that he could fight to be honest with you. Um, I, after the, he fought, I went up to his hockey fights uh, profile and I saw that a few pretty he had some pretty good tilts back in junior. But Bishop fight against Lee Dower and um, he got a uh, Bishop got some pretty good jams jabs in there. Um, I say he won the fight. Um, I'm not trying to be biased or anything like that. Um, Bishop was a he did really well in the fight. Um, but if you didn't know, in senior, you're not allowed to fight. And if you do end up fighting, you're gonna get a game misconduct, and that's about uh, that's a lot of penalty minutes that add up to your total. We'll talk about Bishop and his penalty minutes in a bit. But Bishop uh, heads into the locker room, so that means they have McGraw, the only player on the Eminem Bish line in the lineup. And yeah, that kind of showed how uh, how much uh, Bishop and McKim are needed with this team. Uh, they ended up having Bishop, um, not Bishop, McGraw, Rumsey, and Tanner Humber Dredge on that first line. It was solid, but they weren't able to connect much. As you, uh, as I said, uh, Tanner Humber Dredge and Rumsey got two goals, but I believe one of them were a power play goal. So um, they didn't connect as well as I thought they were going to. But um yeah, it was just it was just a rough night um to be honest with you, uh, especially having those two players out. If they were in the lineup, they I think they would probably do better cuz um those two guys are unbelievable in senior. Next weekend, they'll be heading up to Clarenville. So not uh not going to be at home next weekend the senior caps, but they'll be going out uh Central Newfoundland to play the Clarenville Caribous and if you were wondering Yes, that iconic video of Justin Pender, well, I don't know if it's iconic, but viral video of Justin Pender fighting a fan. Pender got a three-game suspension for that. He'll be back in the lineup for Clarenville next Saturday when they play the Caps. So you're going to want to be beating out the Clarenville, either taking DRL or driving out yourself. You're going to want to be going out the Clarenville, maybe root for the Caps in that game because it's going to be a big one. It's definitely going to be a big one, and I, I it's going to be interesting to see what happens, and um, it could end up happening getting a little scrappy um and also a uh, notable player on Clarenville I always like to mention my former brothers Adam Daw is playing uh, in the lineup for Clarenville he's been doing extraordinarily well um and he'll hopefully be doing well for them this year he's one of the he's probably the only guy on the team that I really know really really well Pender I know pretty well but Daw uh, I remember watching him last year with the Browse. he was probably one of the most underrated players in Growlers history in my opinion he didn't rack up points but um his overall gameplay was really well well played kind of reminded me of a Brendan Gallagher type even though Gallagher uh, had started off the season scoring a lot of goals but uh, him and Gallagher have that same type of play they're smaller but they're able to get into those dirty areas and able to feed pucks to players and we're able to find the back of the net so Dawsey will be playing against the Caps and so we'll see how that ends up uh, out playing. The Caribous don't come to St. John's till January. So if you're not going to be able to beat out the Clarenville, you're going to have to wait till January to watch that game. So yeah, so it'll be an interesting uh, weekend for sure. And then the next home game that the Senior Cats will be playing will be December 8th versus the CB Stars. Um, if you don't know where the CB Stars are played, they play at the Danny Clary Community Center in Harbor Grace. Um, you obviously know that viral video of Pender, that's the arena that they were in there playing the CBs. Um, CBs, uh, you may know Jordan Escott, he used to play for the CBs, and there's a chance that he may be making the return to the CBs, actually. But uh, yeah, that'll be an interesting game. Maybe Escott will be in the lineup by then. We'll have to wait and see what happens. 
So I've heard Stevens have been really solid this year. So we'll see how that that game ends up happening. It'll be on a Sunday. It'll be an afternoon game. So you may want to get the younger kids out there getting involved um, in in the stands and getting really loud in the in, for the game. But yeah, so pretty pretty good solid gameplay out of the teams um, in general. But let's get into some player stats. The goals leaders. For the team uh, so far this year in four games, we have McGrath and Cole that are tied for goals in their goal per game with four goals in their four games. So McGrath has played really well, but Mike Cole, honestly, pretty underrated piece. Um, I don't know if he's too underrated now since he's been putting the puck in the back of the net a lot, um, but he's been doing really, really well, honestly, with with the June, uh, senior caps. Um, so hopefully he can keep it up and we'll wait and see what happens. The assist leader is another one tied. Um, Tanner Humber Dredge and Matt McKim both have six assists in this season. Both of them really solid players for the senior caps. So hopefully they keep that up as well. The points leader is Humber Dredge with nine points. It's kind of surprising considering that he's not a part of the Eminem Bish line. So hopefully Tanner Humber Dredge is able to keep that up. And then their penalty minutes leader, Joel Bishop with 19. Majority of those penalty minutes were from the last night uh, tilt he had. They had Devin Parsons making his season debut, I believe, in net for the G senior caps. He was he was pretty solid, I'll say. But he, letting in four goals, not too bad. Um, well, it is kind of bad. But uh, the fifth goal was an empty there, so it is not, the blame is not on him. So uh, Parsons played pretty solid. I think if um, Downer uh, isn't playing next weekend, they'll probably have Curtis playing one game in Clarenville and then Parsons playing the other and then the caps have a two and two record this year which is fourth in the entire aeshl not too bad and that'll wrap things up with the senior caps we move aside to the junior caps how did their weekend go um and they only played one game as well as i mentioned at the beginning of the video but in their one game they end up winning seven to nothing over the northeast eagles if you're wondering where the northeast eagles is they are located in torbay they play at the jackburn regional arena the goals in this game, Jordan Winter ends up opening the scoring. He's a, he's a really good player, I, I just gotta say. Uh, Winter, it seems like every video he's mentioned at least once, he's, it seems like he scores every game. And he opens up the scoring in this one. Zach Hocko gets two goals in this game. Um, the pretty solid game play from him. He only had one goal prior to this game. So adding up that, that's pretty good. He has three points, um, three goals this uh, year so far. Not too bad at all. Sean Brown getting a goal as well for the senior caps. Not too bad for him. Uh, Patrick Hurley getting a goal as well in his season debut with the junior caps. I've heard this guy is unbelievably good. He played last year in Yarmouth. Uh, if you don't know where Yarmouth is, uh, that's in Nova Scotia. He played a bit of junior A there, then played a bit of the season with the junior cast and lit up the lamp in those games. So he'll be playing four or five games, I suppose, this year, and we'll see how he ends up playing this year for the junior cast. Andy Knight's able to get one as well, not too bad from him. And then Justin Heptich ends ends the scoring as he just sniped that puck. I gotta say, that was an absolute snipe by Heptich. It was like the last minute of play as well, so it didn't really matter. But man, he absolutely sniped the goaltender Den on Northeast. But end end this game in total. There was a total of fifty seven penalty minutes for both teams. It was a pretty good rivalry matchup. I didn't really know Northeast and the Caps had that big of a rivalry, but man, it was a heated, heated matchup. Um, there was a Brown, um, Sean Brown ended up having a tilt in this game. Uh, well, it wasn't really a tilt. They they didn't take off their gloves, but what it was basically just like a hugging match, wrestling match, I should say. Um, but yeah, it was pretty good tilt from Brown and Turner on the Northeast Eagles. Um, and yeah, so it was just a little, uh, like tilt. They both got too rough for roughings. But, um, I just wanted to mention, um, Luke Power on the Cats. He's a really good player for them. Luke Power on the Northeast Eagles is a bit of a clown. I, I just wanted to say it. I, I, I'm sorry if Luke Power is watching this. Not the new Luke Power on the Junior Cats. If if the one on the Northeast Eagles is watching this, I'm just sorry. He was an absolute goon the entire night. Um, it, it, He ended up doing an illegal check to the head Um, at the end of the game. Declan Barron went right after him. I think he like just started firing punches at him. And um he, he wouldn't do anything. And he was just being lazy right there on the ice. And he's the 
one that ended up causing the Brown versus Turner roughing penalty. He ended up uh, having like a partial breakaway, but Barrington covered it up before he could get the puck, and he just high sticked Barrington in the mask, and that that and then Steven Ryder ran after him, and then a whole scrum ensued, and then that's what happened in the Brown Turner fight. Um, but yeah, Luke Power was a bit of a goon uh, to not last. Um, Friday night, I should say. I don't know why I messed that up a couple times. But Luke Power, yeah, he's a bit of a clown, a bit of a goon, and we'll be seeing him again, I'm sure, when Northeast comes back. And so, just to list off a few player stats, the points leader is Jordan Winter with 17 points. He's been doing unbelievable this year. Um... Their assist leader is William Dot and Andrew Vich. Vich did not play in the lineup uh, la Friday night versus the Northeast Eagles. Um, I believe Patrick Hurley kind of came into his replacement. But they both have seven assists this year. Uh, Daw is pretty good on that PP2. Um, being the quarterback isn't too bad for him. And then their goals leader is Jordan Winter with 11 goals. The Junior Cast next game will be this Friday. Versus the CBS Junior Renegades, or CBR Junior Renegades, I should say. The Renegades, really good this year so far, so it's going to be a tough matchup, but um, hopefully you're able to get down and get your tickets at marybrowncenter.ca. Just search up Mary Brown Center box office. I'm sure they'll have tickets for you for that game. That's it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If there's anything I missed, make sure to let me know. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, you can like this video. You can subscribe if you really liked it. We're on the road to 300 subscribers, so if you can hit that subscribe button down below, I'd really appreciate it. That's it for today's video, guys, and I'll talk to you all again soon.